Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will see how to deploy the front-end API to the Azure Kubernetes cluster. If you remember that we are working on a project wherein a company has deployed a rating website, which would consist of uh, the web front-end, a document database, and a RESTful e-ratings API that would allow the web front-end to communicate with the database. In the previous video, we have deployed the ratings API. Now we will continue the deployment and deploy the ratings web front end. The rating, this web front end is a node.js application. If you remember and if you recall that we have already created an Azure Container Registry instance and we used it to build a Docker image of the front end and store it in a repository. So in this video, we will create a Kubernetes deployment for the web front end. We'll create a Kubernetes service manifest to expose the web front end and we will test the web front end so if i show you the architecture this is the architecture which which we are doing and we are deploying this web front end bit behind the load balancer and uh, with a public ip so that user request can come uh, via internet to this service the web front end and that web front end would communicate with the mongodb through the uh, ratings api which is responsible to extract and to get the data from the mongodb to this web front end so let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there i'm logged on to the portal and i have launched the cloud shell as well so first of all i will create a blank yaml file so i'll do if you remember i do code then i do type in the name like this dot yaml it will open up the blank editor now i will put in the content of the yaml file right so here is the content of the yaml file if you see if you have uh, watched my previous video you know that what i'm talking about so the the image that i'm going to use here under the image section which is name i'm going to replace it with the acr name so it will pull up the image from the acr so if i click on my container registries here and see i have one so it would be acr 15606 let me change it here six and let me just save it okay so it means that uh, registry instance that we created earlier would be picked up by this file and the container would listen to port 8080 the deployment and the ports are labeled with app equal to ratings dash web. And if you would come below, you would see the environment here. But the environment, the ratings front end, expect to connect to the API endpoint configured in an API environment variable. So if we have used the default and deployed the ratings API servicing the ratings app namespace, the value of that is what I have mentioned because I've used this uh, URL, the deployment name to deploy my ratings API, which is responsible to communicate between my front end and the MongoDB. And if you would look at the resources here, it means that each container instance is given a minimum of 0.25 cores, 64 MB of memory. The Kubernetes scheduler looks for a node and available capacity to schedule such a port. A container might or might not be allowed to exceed its CPU limit, but it won't be killed for excessive CPU usage. So I've already saved the file. I'm going to quit and uh, close the editor. Let's just say it one more time. And then I'm going to apply this file using the kubectl command here it is it is applying the configuration and you will soon see an output which is this that the deployment this deployment name with the app ratings dash web has been created now i can uh, do kubectl get pods under my namespace namespace that i created 
it was a ratings app and would list specifically for the app which is called ratings dash web my dash w is mean that if the deployment is still going on you would still see the running deployment and the ports that are being created so in few seconds you will see the port that my ports are already done and if the ports are not starting or not or they are not ready or are crashing we can view the logs as well so if i just do control c here and exit out of this command and i if want to i want to see the logs i can do cube ctl logs then i can add the pod name for me the name of the pod is this I can do this, paste it here, space, and I can select that this pod is present under the namespace, which is ratings app. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one dash here. Let me see. So these are the logs right so you see the logs here and you see that the it was compiled successfully all the status is built nothing is crashing here emitted looks good and you can also check the status of the deployment cube ctl get deployment ratings web under the namespace ratings app there it is let's so the deployment was successful for with the name ratings of web now i have, will have to create a kubernetes service for the ratings web front end so in this step we'll have to simplify the network configuration for our application workloads we use a kubernetes service to group the pods and provide network connectivity i will use a kubernetes load balancer instead of a cluster ip for the service a load balancer would allow me or us to expose the kubernetes service on a public ip in the cluster the type makes the service reachable from the outside from the cluster so i will create a file like i did earlier i'll do code rating dash web then it would be a service file and i will append that with the yaml i will paste the content of the file here now if you would see uh, the api version is one the name of my deployment is ratings web and i am defining the protocol tc to listen the traffic incoming traffic on 80 and send the traffic to the cluster nodes on the kubernetes on port 8080 and the type of the configuration i'm deploying is a load balancer and earlier i deployed it using the cluster ip and now if you would see the selector section here it sets the set of ports targeted by a service is determined by the selector so the kubernetes load balancer traffic to ports that have labeled as ratings web the label was defined when we created the deployment now i will just save this file i close the editor and i will use kubectl command to apply my configuration is kubectl apply under the namespace rating app and the name of my file is ratings-web-service.yaml it is created successfully now if you will check the status of your service with the cube ctl command and with cube ctl get service and the name of my deployment is ratings web under the namespace ratings app deployment is done and the load balance of the cluster ip is this 
and the external IP on which it will listen the traffic from internet is 40.76.151.178 and the ports are this. And if I do it with W at the end or the dash W at the end, it doesn't make a difference. So if I run the command without W again, I'll see this. Okay. Going good so far. Let me just copy paste and just get the public IP here. And if I would just check the application with the public IP okay let's see what I get just still loading now you see this right Microsoft Azure this is running fine if you would click on start rating you can give rating to the banana flavor coconut flavor and whatnot and then you know you can give five ratings to coconut you can submit wait so this is how this would work and now if you lead a board go back clone this code view leaderboard so currently coconut is leading right so this is the small you know a containerized application that we have deployed using docker and then we are uh, orchestrating it through kubernetes uh, for the multi-container deployment right so i hope this was useful for all of you guys so what we have done in this exercise we have created the deployment and exposed it to the internet through a load balancer type service and next we will improve the network accessibility of the application by using ingress configuration for my kubernetes so i hope you like this video if you have any doubts queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day